All right, what's going on, guys? We've had a very informative week for real estate this week and even coming into next week, some more data. And I want to talk about kind of how the market's been, uh, really talk about what a slowdown looks like and kind of just going off of the last couple of videos, where's the market now, what data have we seen and how it's kind of just been feeling, what data's already came out and then what data we have coming out for this next week. So what I want to go over is what has reported this was about like two three days ago there was the housing starts as well as the building permits so those are kind of hand in hand and they're going to give us idea of the real estate market now why we're going to look at this is because again you know the real estate market has been quote unquote crashing really we're seeing it's and this is what this data is confirming it's not really crashing we are seeing stalling based on some other data that's even came out um, existing home sales has just came out um, a few days ago, I believe on the 20th. So last week, and this is about year over year, things have unchanged. It hasn't grown. It hasn't gone down. And this is kind of where we're at in the market. We've had that three, four months of, you know, negative data. People are paying attention. And now we're here. We're kind of seeing where we're going. So this is really interesting, but we did see something kind of uh, interesting happening with this latest data and this is regarding now the housing starts and those building permits because what this is showing of, of how the market is, is really stalling right now is by understanding you're seeing opposing data you're seeing one thing do good one thing do bad you're seeing volatility really and it's showing kind of uncertainty which is one thing i'm very worried about but you know some of these signs aren't i guess too bad and then the next data coming out in the next few days i'm very very excited to see that i think it comes out on monday so Putting this into perspective, though, housing starts is literally ex exactly what it means. How many houses have been started, you know, brand new structures that are being built, new home building, you know, how many have gone up. So it's covering that. And we're seeing that actually hit a, a really high a month over month change was huge. And then even uh, when you look back over the years, it's, it's I think the best since January, I believe, which is what we're seeing here, which is. Uh, a good sign, you know, it, it means an increase in supply, but that's very good to see that people are building, which again, we're not seeing builders back off or people pull money from building because they're scared. However, when we look now at building permits or authorized permits, that has now dropped and that's down to the lowest point of February 2016. So even though they just started, uh, you know, brand new projects, now we're seeing the permits, which could be kind of that forecast is showing that that's declined. And, you know, as you see from the chart, we've seen these declines happen. It's not necessarily not normal. Uh, you know, it will happen a few times a year in 2017. It at least happens two, three times you're seeing that decline. But it is something to pay attention to, especially given the state we're at now. Um, here's this just overlaid on a different chart, kind of identifying, hey, here's your housing starts increase, the amount of houses over the last, you know, seven years, and then also the permits. So you see the correlation between the permits and then how many houses get started so on and so forth so there's that and now the last part which is going to be interesting so you guys trying to trade the stocks on it here's home builder stocks and then your housing macro index showing you kind of as a whole where housing's at versus these home builders and now these are the guys who are really going hand in hand with this data so you see why it's important for both real estate and stocks these are big money big money companies and, and all that so that's important to look out for the, like we said, existing home sales. Uh, we've talked about that in the other video. If you're, you don't know what that is, go check the other video. It's very simple again, though. It's just what, you know, homes that already have been built that sold. This is leveled out. It's the same exact unchanged month over month and relatively, you know, give or take 20, 30,000 units. Uh, it's the, exactly the same year over year. So again, you, even though the market did go up 17, we're still seeing a high amount of sales, but it's still not showing any growth. And that's what people are worried about now. That's why it's like, is real estate crashing? No, but is it stalling and is growth stalling? This is what we're seeing. And this kind of explains really what I, I meant by the title of the video in the sense that growth, this is what a stall stalling market looks like where you're seeing uncertainty, you know, divergent data, but at the same time, lack of growth consistently month over month over month. And you're gonna see how that translates into prices and activity and so on. So there's that. Now, the next data that we're looking for is new home sales. This comes out on the 26th, so I believe Monday or, or Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Um, and we want to see where this is. This is the brand new home. So we see housing starts. We're seeing the building permits. Now let's see how many actual brand new homes got sold. And then 
this one pending sales, which is again, has been really, really bad year over year for uh, the real estate market. So uptick in this would be pretty interesting. This is gonna come out on the 27th. And I think the ex expectation is a 1% uh, growth, surprisingly. And then there's other forecasting a loss of 1.9, but we'll see. So if it's high expectations, people are expecting a lot. This will give us a lot more insight on the real estate market. Is it saying, hey, this was just a speed bump and we're about to see kind of an uptick and continue the bubble coming into 2019 or continue at least price, price growth? Or is this going to show really and confirm that, yeah, you know, the market is changing. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this guy gives you guys some information. You check it out. Uh, and again, this is kind of a continuation off the last video of understanding these metrics and important real estate data you need to watch. So keep paying attention to that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And again, if it helps you out, drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe and turn on those post notifications. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.